Good morning, YouTube. This is Man with Joyce Page, aka the Emperor of Female Badminton Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, we have a show coming up this weekend, and it is the inaugural Linda Murray Atlanta Pro. This is the one of two shows that Linda's going to have in the state of Georgia. Now, she has uh, the uh, uh, Savannah coming up in September, where I'm planning on going. And this is um, usually this year, it's usually done this time. You have the Norfolk Pro, but the Norfolk is no longer this. I wish Linda kept that show. I mean, like I said, where I live at, Georgia's, uh, Virginia's just slightly a little closer to me than Georgia. Because, you know, I live in North Carolina. You got to go through South Carolina to get to, to Georgia. And, you know, and I think, you know, Virginia's a lot closer. But, you know what, this is a great show. I, you know what, I would love to see that uh, Linda uh, expand her brand. Kind of like with Arnold. You know, we need someone like Linda for women's bodybuilding. And she is appreciative of it. You know of her and what Winnie Strength is doing. Now this is a show which is uh, Olympic qualifier, and it's only one of um, four more shows left for the season. You know for the end of for qualification for the Olympia. I think there's about you have uh, Chicago next week. The next month you have um, you know um, you know Chicago next week. There's also the World Master Championships that same week. Also um, Tampa next month. And Savannah in September. I plan on going to Savannah because, like I said, Savannah is it's a good way from where I live. It and yeah, I, I want to go see this be my first official show. So anyway, you have four divisions in this show. Most notably, women's uh, open. You have uh, men's uh, classic physique, figure, and men's physique. You know, this is you know not no no real the, the the real heavy banana hammocks like open, but still, this is a great opportunity for you know these other divisions to stand out. You know, and not you know take the shine off of them. But also, it's an NPC, um, you know, uh, national qualifier, and which also the winners of each division will get a free entry into the um, upcoming Olympia amateur show. You know, meaning that they don't have to pay an entry free. That's great because some people I talk to, you know, they, it costs money to be an amateur. It costs a lot of money compared to a pro, but it costs money. So, you know, and congratulations to anybody who will get a chance to go to Olympia and become a pro. I mean, you know, I, I wish you all the best of luck. So anyway, this is the longest, you know, list we have of ladies in bodybuilding in the, in the past few months. I know it's been kind of, you know, you know, lackluster some shows. You had one show, one woman, one. You had two competitors and a couple of shows and three or four, sometimes even up to as, as high, I think about seven or eight. But you know what? This is a long list. And I didn't want to do it just yet because you know, I want to wait still if anybody more is going to register. But we have 12 wonderful ladies representing themselves in the sport of bodybuilding. And some of these ladies I know from social media. Some I have um, become quite acquainted with. And, you know, and I wish you all the best of luck. Now, first off, we have here is Michaela A. Cocker. As you saw um, on my channel, on my YouTube channel, on my IG, I posted that Michaela, you know, while she was um, in uh, Milana, she, her car got broken into and they stole her her bag with her posing suits and all her other materials for it to come out in competition. We're hoping that um, Michaela, you know, get some stuff. I know she has family in Florida. They, you know, it's taking long. You just got to get a flight, boom, hit into the Georgia, into the Atlanta airport, and um, then boom, she probably got up stuff already because it happened a couple of days ago. So it shouldn't take her long. She probably got her materials and she's probably ready to go. I think Michaela's probably one of the top um, top um, prospects for the show because um, last year she went Omaha Pro. And then she went to the Olympia, and also she placed in the top five at the Rising Phoenix. And I think she's competing this year again at the Rising Phoenix. So, so best of luck, Michaela. Next up, we have Shaquita Barrero. And Miss Barrero is from my home state of North Carolina. And now, she earned a pro card back in 2021. She made her pro debut at the New York Pro. She made top five. She got fourth place at that show. And, you know, she looks impressive. You know, if she makes the adjustments... You know, come in a little bit more condition and maybe add just a little bit more size. And it's been almost two months since New York. She can do pretty good. You know, she's an impressive young lady. And I hope the opportunity I reach out to for any of you, I hope she can get back to me. I would love to interview her, especially somebody in my home state of North Carolina. Next up, we have one Miss Jennifer Childress. Now, Miss Childress, I've done videos before about her. She is also of Native American descent. Now, she earned her pro card back in 2020. And, you know, she is, at one point, she was a windscreen ambassador. I think she... You know, still is or not, I can't remember. It's been a while. And, you know, she looks pretty impressive. She has a good amount of size, but she got to bring it in condition. It's going to be tough. You're gonna, there's a couple of heavy, heavy hitters here that really can really give her a, a run for money. 
Next up, we have Miss Leah Denny. I'm social media friends with Miss Denny. I told her best of luck. She's an amazing woman. She earned her first Olympic qualification at the New York Pro. Also, she made the top five at the Rising Phoenix last year. She's also a Winsworth Ambassador this year and also she's competing at Rising again. Amazing woman. This woman's 57 years old. And it looks pretty good. I mean, you can't believe it. You know, wow. You, you wouldn't think, you know. But like I said, there's a growing number of women who are 50, who are mothers, coming into the sport. Much respect to them. Here we have is Julia Furry. Now, Miss Furry is probably one of the top contenders in this show. And, you know, last year she debuted as bodybuilder at the Tampa um, Pro. But, you know, she was originally, she earned a pro card in 2019 as a physique competitor that made the switch. She's this year. She's Olympia. She's a Rising Phoenix ambassador, and you know she did Puerto Rico. She took second in that show, even though it was a lineup of three women. But you know what? She has a good amount of size, but she has to come in a little more condition. You know, Rashawn Bosworth was, her, was at her best at that show. A lot of people saying, "Oh, it was a robbery." No, she just didn't come in tight enough. But you know, I've seen her on social media. She's been working with Asha Hadley and a couple other ladies here in the states. I thought she would do the Porto, the Portugal Pro, I mean, and probably earn a qualification there. But you know, this show could be a possibility. All dependent how condition she comes in. Next up, we have one Miss um, Tamara Gorley, if I name got a name right. Now she competed a couple of shows just this, um, you know, a couple of months. She was in physique, and she last competed at the Puerto Rico. And physique, and uh, I'm, that's been barely three weeks ago. Um, from this picture, I don't know why she went to open. I mean, she had to get on some serious gear if she want to compete alongside some of these bigger women. Uh, I, I see her bottom out. I'm truthfully gonna see her bottom out. You have here is one Miss Nicole Gray. Now, Miss Gray lives in my home state of North Carolina, also, and I'm hoping to get an interview with her sometime soon. I'd love to get to talk to these ladies who live in my own backyard. Now, Miss Gray earned her pro card back in 2015 in bodybuilding. She was a physique competitor, but made the switch. And that's been a while. I mean, I know she's probably stacking her chips, making, you know, because, you know, it's expensive to compete. And maybe making adjustments, put on extra size like that. I've seen some pictures of her. She looks pretty impressive. You know, we're hoping maybe she might even, if she can crack the top 10, maybe the top 5, that's a possibility. But you know, it's going to be tough. It's still, it's still a long lineup. Next up we have is one is Janine Lukowski. I've been social media friends with Janine Nikowski. We have a, a friend in common, Miss Nancy Lewis. Now Janine is been in, in compete for a long time. She's winning straight ambassador. She's also competing at this year's Rising Phoenix. She had the last couple of times that earned her uh, Olympic qualification by points. So maybe you know, no, one, one I'm saying this is a controversy to me. You know, back in, in twenty twenty one in the North Fork, she should have won the North Fork Pro or a uh, Nikki Shar train, because the fact was but Donna Day was not in the best condition. You know, she just wasn't even, not even size or condition. And I don't know how she beat LaDonna, how, how LaDonna beat either Nikki or Janine. But like I said, you know, she's one of the best poses around. This is going to be her, I think her, possibly her third or, you know, um, Olympic qualification. You know, she, like I said, she earned the last couple of times by points. And maybe this time she might win the show. It's all dependent, you know. I, I even seen best of luck to her too. We have here is one Miss Tamara McCarr. And Miss McCarr, is, she is she lives in um, around about in Atlanta, and she's been last year she did pretty good. I mean, she took third place in New York. You know, she just she plays not too well some other sh um, shows, but you know she's been competing for quite some time. I done a video about her. I'm in contact. I I, I forgot to send her because uh, a great a best of wish. I'm gonna send her one later because I'm so busy working this stuff and I, and I always want to send because we keep in contact. She's a great lady, amazing woman. You know, lovely lady from Britain by way of Hungary. But um, I hope she does well this show. You know, she did the Savannah last time, and maybe she might place a little better this show. It's all depending on how she comes in. Next up, we have Miss Sherry Palmieri. If I is it Palmieri? I'm I'm wanna, I'm gonna apologize. I got a name wrong. Now she competed for the last few years as a physique competitor, and she made the switch this year to Women's Open. Now she hadn't competed since 2020. Her last year was Chicago Pro. Now I follow her on social media. I saw she was working out, and you saw some videos she posted. And I wish I say, are you considered going? Um, up to open, and she kind of didn't say, you know, she said, not this time, she said the way she said, but, you know, when she, um, you know, posted, when she, um, you know, um, registered for this show, I knew she was going to happen, because, you know, Sherry, she's at least a woman, she started bodybuilding around when she was 40, and um, she did an interview with uh, D.D. on the spot uh, the other day, and, you know, she talked about herself, and, you know, I think it was time for her to do that, because, like I said, a lot of these women, when they get to a certain age, they kind of, it's muscle maturity. 
the body's development is changed. It can't maintain the same level in physique, especially if you don't have the size, but a little bit more conditioning, or you have better conditioning than size. It's always about to bring about balance. Next up we have, we have uh, Tequila Redrick. Now, Miss Redrick competed at the Puerto Rico Pro about, uh, Puerto Rico Pro about three weeks ago. Now, she was, she earned her pro card as a physique competitor, and she made top five at the Puerto Rico. Now, I remember I saw her do an interview with um, the Female Bodybuilding Channel, where she, where was, you know, AJ suggested maybe she might go to the Women's Open. And I think she made a decision, because, like I said, I saw a picture of her, you know, AJ and um, JB put together with her side by side with, uh, um, you know, with Shana Bosworth. Her back was a slightly bit of Shana's. And the condition, if she can bring in, like I said, it's been three weeks since the, um, the Puerto Rico. And if she bring in that conditioning and a bit of size, she can probably most definitely give a run for some people's money. She might make top five again. You know, it's just amazing. And also about her story that she was dealing with Crohn's in the past. And, you know, that's a tough disease. If you ever had it, it's tough. And to bounce back and come back and compete and just, you know, I have respect for her. Remember, I mean, just a lot of respect for her. I'm hoping to get an opportunity to also interview her and share her story. Here, and last but not least, is one of my favorite people of all time. The lovely, the beautiful, amazing Miss Tina S. Williams. I'm a fan of Miss Williams. You know, shout out to my her husband, my big brother, Mr. Big Keith. I hope he's doing well. You know, he's a great guy. He's an amazing person. And the other week, the other day when I did my live stream, I wish I had him on because I know he's he's great. He's very intelligent. He's very informational. You know, he really, really helped me put together this whole thing. I was talking about him doing that live stream um, about... You know, a few months ago, but you know, I said, you know, uh, I would love to have him on, but I think he's a great guy. I hope he's doing well. But Tina, you know I me, mean? we've been talking on the phone. You know, I'm seeing how she's doing. As you know, she's there, and this is an opportunity for her to possibly get her first Olympic qualification. Now, she's a Wing Strength ambassador. She's, a, she's been in the Rise in Phoenix. I remember we did an interview last year where she told me she missed going to Olympia last year by a point. Back in, I think back in 2020, by a point, because she didn't do Tampa. And we were also talking that she would love to have done because she'd done Omaha back to, at least three times in a row. And she hated the fact she missed it this year. Now, um, you know, she would love, she, 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 she only, she, when well, she told me she was only three, three hours away for Omaha, but it's, there's a lot of stuff you got to do, signing these papers like that, all this, to do the shows. You know, it's a lot of hoop jumping you got to do. And she hated it. Even though she sent me pictures of stuff, her condition is pretty good because, you know, she was a tall woman. And like I said before, like conditioning and size, it's harder for these taller women to get. The size, so they have to either get conditioned, and she's getting conditioned because she knows she's being trained by Alina Popa, and Alina has trained a lot of great people. You know, Lisa Cross, um, you know, uh, so, several others who have trained under Alina, and she is kind of like the new version of um, uh, the I would say the female version of uh, Joe Weider, I think I would say, or or maybe you know, I think yeah, she's kind of the female Joe Weider. You know how Arnold trained under Joe Weider, but you know. Tina and I have been talking, you know, she's been hanging out. Uh, her her daughter, Kansas, who I, I, I love and adore, she was hanging out with her, you know. <laughs> you, if you follow Tina on um, social media, uh, she gave a little girl smoothie while she was doing a cardio. <laughs> you don't give a little baby smoothie, you want something to eat, you know. <laughs> but, you know, much respect to Tina. Tina, where she's looking, if she comes as dry and as tight as she is, you know, get like they, they host, they say it's the host that say those full muscle bellies, Tina can be a contender. Like I said, like I said, it's a lot harder for these taller women to, you know, really, you know, put on, you know, the size because, you know, usually the like girls like like um Michaela because they're shorter, they can bulk up faster because their bodies are more compact. And with Tina, she has her limbs a lot longer, her arms a lot longer. It takes a long time, but her condition comes in tight. A lot of these shows, a lot of the women who's been winning is mostly women on conditioning more than size, other than even Montgomery, but even had no com competition in her show. But, you know, Tina, I have a lot of respect for Tina. I think she's a beautiful person. I hope to get to meet her someday. I know she told me she's planning on going to Savannah, maybe working the booths. She wanted to do Tampa because, but they so hold her back on Tampa. She's going to plan to maybe do some couple more shows before the season ends and possibly get her. If she don't get a qualification to show, she can possibly maybe do a few more shows and maybe get her points. You know, right now the point three to four um, the Olympia is now is Michelle Jin. I'm surprised. She's probably sitting on those points. I would, if I was her, I'd go ahead and do a show. You know, she done Omaha. She probably would have, you know, most definitely, you know, got her Olympic qualification compared to the other two ladies that was going to be in that show. But like I said, I want to wish the best luck to my dear friend, Miss T.S. Williams. I'll probably call her later this afternoon see how she's doing, how she's feeling, you know, pain, maybe, you know, just or send her a text. Because I know she's, she really has a lot on her mind. Anyway, the show is going to be tomorrow. 
um, around about, I think, about 8 o'clock. You know, that's how they usually start the shows so for the pre-judging. Then they have the finals in the evening. I would watch a live stream, but right now I am giving short of my budget. Gas is expensive, folks. Gas is expensive. And I want to wish you ladies, all lovely ladies, a congratulations on this upcoming show. All the best of luck. Um, like I said, much respect to these women because they put in a lot of hard work. And even though I think one thing is, um, you know, Linda Murray, much appreciation to you because the fact is you've been fighting for female bodybuilding than most people have, like both you and Jake Wood. And Linda, I wish you could maybe next year add on a couple of shows, bring back Norfolk. And we had Norfolk in back in, in 2020 because of what was going on with the pandemic. Bring it back. You know, have another show for these ladies that, you know, especially ones that live in my home city of North Carolina, be a lot closer for them. Other ladies who probably want to do another show. I mean, you know, it'd be great if, you know, if she can expand her brand like Arnold. I mean, if she had Arnold's, um, you know, money in his pocket. She got Jake's. That's just about as good. But, you know, if she really had her own, she could really expand her brand. I mean, we, we can add more female body shows in, like, Texas and California, um, go across Mexico, like, you know, and South America and Europe. I mean, hell, Africa. You know, be Linda Murray in, in, in Africa, like Nigeria somewhere, you know. There'll be a lot of competitors overseas that probably love to do that, especially in that area. But like I said, much respect to Minimum right now. Like I said at the end, I'm going to post a link to the live stream in my um in my description. You know, if you want to watch it, check it out. Best of luck to you. I'll be trying to keep up with it um on tomorrow through social media because, you know, everybody's going to post and talk about, you know, what's going on. Because I know a lot of ladies who will follow me will probably let me know what's going on. They're going to watch it because they want to see who's going to be coming up next for the Olympia. So much respect to them, Linda. Linda. Much respect to all the ladies competing um, tomorrow. And much respect to you who follow through my body and support these ladies. Be genuine and be supportive. This is me on our Witch Rose page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.